does milk do a body good is milk the perfect food yes but only if you're a calf hi i'm dr seth gerlach with core health board certified chiropractic internist and functional medicine practitioner today i'm talking all about dairy which is a very hot topic on both sides of the aisle here and i want to talk about how dairy is harmful for your health so why is this so we know dairy comes in the form of milks cheeses butter yogurt sour cream ice cream but how could that be bad for us right well there's many different reasons why one of them uh, the way in America that we process our dairy so the homogenation and pasteurization so pasteurization is when we heat this dairy the milk to a very high temperature and then come back down it's supposed to kill the bacteria but it also kills the good thing the beneficial enzymes and vitamins and nutrients in the milk also another thing is the homogenation process and that is really the separation of the fat so the fat doesn't rise to the top um, like a cream and this is supposed to help with shelf life and people don't like their milk separated it doesn't look good on the shelf either um, but what's good for shelf life is not good for our life and what we've seen is that homogenation process can lead to oxidation of that fat and lead to damage of our cells via free radicals so that's a hugely important to understand another thing is what are the cows consuming so 85 percent of the antibiotics in the in the united states are used on livestock majority of those cows so cows usually are grown in tight confinements uh, they're fed really poor diets and they have to be given um, like injections of uh, painkillers and antibiotics to prevent them from getting sick and feeling all this pain um, but whatever goes into a cow's body will come out of their milk and you drink that or eat that when you're consuming dairy um, actually a study just showed from the journal of agriculture and food chemistry that one glass of milk contains up to 20 different chemicals and that can be um, pesticides it could be drugs like ibuprofen antibiotics so that's really telling that these things can really have an effect on our health another thing is the, the majority of uh, the cows in america eat genetically modified crops so you we consume whatever our food consumes so that is genetically modified crops that's not very good for us so what does each glass of milk contain and many people will be shocked by this because we've been led to believe that dairy is healthy it's good for athletic performance it keeps our bones nice and strong uh, but one glass of milk contains hormones um, all milk contains hormones so estrogens progesterones which can alter our hormones and another thing called insulin like growth factor one which can raise our insulin so more insulin leads to blood sugar imbalances and can lead to things like prediabetes if consumed in too much or in, in, in a big enough amount uh, insulin like growth factor can also increase the risk for cancer many studies have shown this actually um, so it's very important to know about the IGF-1 uh, what else does a glass of milk contain well one spoonful actually a tiny spoonful of milk contains over a million different pus cells now that is very disgusting but even more disgusting is that is we know that uh, blood and fecal matter and bacteria are also in um, cow's milk so food for thought next time you're picking up that glass of milk scooping into your yogurt or getting that yummy yummy ice cream all right, so what else is going on with milk? We know that milk is inflammatory. Uh, milk, or the dairy products in general, have this um, protein called alpha-1 beta casein, or A1 beta casein. And this has been shown to be more inflammatory than the protein in gluten in, for some people. And what this does, it releases this thing in the body called casomorphin-7. These are a lot of big words, but stay with me here. And this casomorphin can bind on the receptors in our brain the same ones that um, heroin and different narcotics can land on and they, this gives us that big dopamine rush and makes us feel great this is what makes 
um, dairy products so addictive. So I talk to people all the time about we're gonna have to cut out dairy, we're gonna have to cut out these different foods, and they look at me like I have 18 heads, like oh, I could never give up cheese or, or dairy or yogurt. It, well, and one, it's good for me, and two, I, I'm, there's no way I could do it. This is why there's a physiological process in the body that dairy does, it hijacks these receptor sites in our body and our brain, leaving us very, very addicted to this. Um, different studies also show that um, many diseases can be perpetuated by dairy intakes. Uh, the number one is usually type one diabetes, especially when fed too young. And this is gonna be an important point. So toddlers and children, their gut wall, their guts don't close up you know, for, for about two years or so. So anything introduced to that gut gets exposed to the immune system then. And many times, um, children and toddlers cannot handle the proteins in dairy, which aggravates that immune system and can turn on these different disease processes. And of course, everyone's different, but I'm just laying out the facts here. Um, another thing is, Dairy is one of the most common food allergies or sensitivities. Uh, gluten and dairy are one and two, and they kind of go back and forth. Now, this is different from a lactose intolerance. Most people have heard of lactose intolerance, and actually 75% of the world are lactose intolerant, meaning they can't properly digest milk products. Very interesting. Uh, for me, uh, human uh, evolutionary perspective there. But uh, a food allergy or sensitivity is different in that the proteins in dairy aggravates our immune system, leading to widespread inflammation in this process that can drive the diseases like we just previously talked about. Um, it can lead to things like uh, runny nose, sneezing, coughing, runny eyes. Uh, it can also lead to things like joint pain, uh, the list really goes on and on. There's actually one story, I have many stories actually, but one in particular, uh, someone I work with actually, he uh, used to use up many, many Kleenex boxes each month um, just because his nose was constantly running and he was sneezing and coughing and all these things. We asked him to get rid of dairy out of his diet and he's eliminated Kleenexes to almost nothing. Now that's a, just a simple dietary change, but many people don't correlate symptoms in the body to what they're eating. So that'd be interesting to get uh, dairy out of your diet for a period of time, see how you feel to see how it affects you. So I briefly wanted to touch on uh, the science because many people say, I drink milk because it keeps my bones strong. Well, actually, there's never been a really strong study that shows that dairy uh, decreases risk for osteoporosis or fractures. In fact, some studies show that dairy leads to an increased risk of fractures. Yes, increased risk of fractures. Um, we've been sold this uh, great marketing advertising campaign that uh, drink milk for strong bones. That's what we give it to our kids, right? But the science proves otherwise. In fact, one study showed that um, dairy consumption had a 50% increased risk for fracture. And what this does, the acidity and just the makeup of dairy makes us leach different minerals from our body to try to maintain or balance that acidity out. Uh, can lead to things like osteoporosis and eventually fractures. And we know that certain countries with the lowest amount of dairy intake also have the lowest amount of osteoporosis. Crazy how it works. Uh, and there's also one study, and I want to quote this here. Um, uh, this was, the study is called Milk Intake and the Risk of Mortality and Fractures in Men and Women. And I want to read this here. Uh, researchers found that milk drinking women had higher rates of death, more heart disease, and significantly more cancer for each glass of milk. Three glasses a day was associated with nearly twice the risk of premature death, and they had significantly more bone and hip fractures. More milk, more fractures. Um, and so this is peer-reviewed uh, journal. You can look up online. All these studies are out there to see the correlation between dairy and health problems. Uh, many people also say, well, how am I gonna get my calcium without my milk? Um, 
very simply introduce green leafy vegetables to your diet. We don't need the calcium from um, milk products. We get plenty of it if we're eating good vegetables, especially green leafy vegetables. They're amazing for you. What about yogurt? I, I need yogurt for the good bugs in my gut. Well, actually most yogurts produced out there today uh, commercially are filled with sugar and like we said, preservatives and antibiotics and all this stuff. Sugar actually kills bacteria, so it kills the good bacteria in the yogurt. So it's really just uh, you're eating a sugar dairy bomb, um, pretty much like ice cream. Uh, so you could get your probiotics from eating things like sauerkraut, kimchi, or taking a probiotic, <clears throat> or making your own water kefir, or things like that. Uh, great alternatives for dairy would be things like cashew milk, delicious, it's creamy, almond milk, coconut milk, hemp milk, and they have <clears throat> all different kinds of products from this. So switch those out. If you have any kind of health condition, whether it be skin issues, whether it's anxiety and depression, maybe you have brain fog, you can't think. Uh, if you're fatigued, if you have hormonal issues, if you've got things like joint pain, uh, eliminate dairy for at least four to six weeks uh, to see how it really affects you. Uh, I recommend, I haven't eaten dairy in years and I don't recommend my patients to truly consume it, but get it out of your diet. See how it affects you. See how uh, much and how more vibrant and how more uh, energy and more brain power you have. So try this out. I've got to go find a drain uh, to dump this down. So have a great rest of your day and happy and healthy starts at the core. See you guys later.